All right, here is chapter four worksheet, question number 19. A merisium for 241 decays according to the formula a as a function of t equals initial amount a sub zero times e to the kt, where k is a constant and t is a time. And it has a half-life of 432.7 years. So that means t is going to be in years. We need to start by finding k. So we can stop right there at that point without seeing the rest of the amount to just find k. Then reading the rest of the question would be for our step two and final answer. If 1.2 micrograms of mer americium 241 are present now, how many years will it be until one microgram is present? Find the answer to the nearest year, rounded to the nearest year. Okay, so the first step is to find k. And we could use the actual amounts in the problem, like the 1.2 and then half of that, which would be 0.6, right? So we could think of this as 1.2 and 0.6, and then e to our kt stuff, right? Um, but I didn't really show that part here because if we divide both sides by the 1.2, which we need to to get that exponential by itself before we use a logarithm, then 0.6 divided by 1.2 is one half. And it really doesn't matter what amounts at all that we use because if it's half-life, then this is always going to turn into a half because the amount after the half-life time is going to be half of the original amount. So dividing that out will always give us half. So we have half equals e to the kt with our half-life for t. We take the natural log of both sides. We use our power property to move our 432.7 k to the front. And then it's 437.2 points. 432.7 times k times natural log e, but the natural log of e is 1. So multiplying by that 1 doesn't change this value. So final answer when we solve for k and we divide by 432.7 is the natural log of 1 half divided by 432.7, which gives us an approximate k value of negative 0.00160191117. I always usually use as many decimals as I can, or I just use the original number when I calculate the next problem. Okay, step two, use k to find t. So this time we're going to use the actual numbers in the second sentence. So we want to know when 1.2 micrograms turns into 1 microgram. So 1 microgram later is equal to 1.2 initial micrograms times e to the kt. Now, I didn't put an actual number in here, but we know what k is. So we will plug that in as we calculate it. Do the natural log of both sides. Again, our power comes to the front. The natural log of e is 1. So we really just have kt here. So then to solve for t, we take our natural log 1 divided by 1.2, and we divide that by k, which we could use either this original answer or we could use the decimal answer. And then putting that all in the calculator correctly gives us a decimal answer of 113.81498, which rounded to the nearest year is approximately 114 years for that amount to decay.